So today I'm doing a really fun, colorful, unicorn inspired look. And obviously this is pretty out there, but I thought this would be perfect for the upcoming festival season. Coachella is just around the corner, or you could do what I did. And this is kind of what inspired this look because last week I actually went to a little kid's birthday party, which had a unicorn theme. And I thought, you know, this could be one of the rare occasions in life where I can get away with wearing unicorn crazy colored makeup as an adult. I posted a couple of snaps on Snapchat and on Insta stories, and I had so much feedback from you guys. So if you haven't uh, followed me already there, go and head over to Snapchat and add me on there or on Instagram, of course, because I actually use both platforms now for doing this little snaps or whatever. Anyway, so a lot of you guys did actually want to see a tutorial on it. And I even did some like hair glitter for the first time. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And without much further ado, let's get started. So I'm actually starting out with a white eyeshadow base because this is just going to make those bright colors pop and I'm using the Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Very affordable and works great. And then I went in with a bright yellow eyeshadow. This is MAC Chrome Yellow and I took a small pencil brush. I think this pencil brush is actually by Bobbi Brown and I dabbed that in the very inner corner of my eye and I'm really kind of packing this on because often yellow needs like maybe two or three layers but this one is like really pigmented so packing that on. Next I'm taking Chartreuse Pigment by MAC. I think this was actually a re-release with the Trolls collection but I think it is actually also permanent but I will have a link to all the eyeshadow names and brands and stuff listed in the info bar and basically I blended this out on my lid um, and then you want to blend it in with the yellow so the, the Chartreuse color works great together with the yellow. It's very easy to blend these two together. And then on the very outer third of my lid, I use this mint color. Now this is an eyeshadow by Makeup Store. I will have the number of it below because I don't, I don't know the name of it. <laughs> but basically I packed this on the very outer lid and then blended it with the chartreuse and everything should blend together very smoothly. Next, I went in with this beautiful sky blue, it's kind of like a pastel sky blue eyeshadow by Creolon, and I used a fluffy brush and applied this into the crease, and this is going to be perfect to blend out those colors, and um, it's gonna work as a nice transition from the green to a blue shade. And then I'm actually using a highlighter by Makeup Geek. Now this is a duochrome highlighter. I'm gonna be using this as a highlighter underneath my brow, almost like packing it on like an eyeshadow. And it's very pigmented, so it works really great. Also as um, an eyeshadow. And this one has sort of a bluish purple reflects to it, which is going to be working great for this sort of unicorn themed look. And then that removed some of the blue, so I'm just going back in and uh, blending some of the blue back in. Then I took Pink Pearl Pigment by MAC. Kind of is like a pink, but it has a slight uh, purplish lilac shade to it. So it's kind of a very cool tone pink. And then I went in with this palette. This is by Ben Nye. This is the Grand Lumiere palette. I'm using this bright fuchsia color and kind of blending it above the blue. Um, so kind of over the pink pearl that I just applied, but you don't want to over blend these colors because there are so many different distinct colors. You don't want to blend them all together because then it's going to start looking muddy. So um, you want to use like a precise brush. And then I went in with this blue also from that palette. It's like a bright uh, royal blue color. And I'm using a very precise brush for this. I think this is the 226 brush from MAC. And I'm just applying that into the crease, kind of making this very bright pop of blue right there. And then I used some of the Jumbo Pencil, again, the white shade uh, just on the lower lid because I'm going to be applying some shadows there as well. And I first went back in with the yellow and just applied some of that on the lower lid and then used the chartreuse color again, the same that I had used um, on the upper lid before. And then I used actually some of the blue and then blended it with the, the chartreuse. So when you kind of blend it together, it kind of makes this almost turquoise shade. And then on my lower 
inner rim so like my waterline I played a white eyeliner just for a pop then I went in with this gel eyeliner by Inglot this is a gorgeous bright blue shade it really pops and uh, yeah I just went in with a, this bright blue and lined my eyes with that I'm gonna do a little wing so not like crazy all the way out there but just a little winged tail and if you want some more uh, tips on how to apply liquid liner, especially using a brush like I'm using, I actually have a whole tutorial based around this, so go and check that out if you need some more tips and tricks how to achieve this. Then I went in with a bright purple mascara because I think this is just fun. It kind of reflects some of the purple and pinks and stuff on the eye makeup. And I am gonna be wearing false lashes later, so it's just going to kind of peek through the false lashes, which is like a hint of purple, which is so fun. So I'm applying that on my top lashes here. And then I use the NYX liquid liner, and this is in an opaque white shade. Super easy to apply, and I just um, applied that below the blue liner, so it kind of is like a contrast, and it really makes that liner sharp and poppin'. <laughs> and yeah, then I also applied the purple mascara on my lower lashes. Now for the highlighting, I actually used the Celestial Duochrome Highlighter by Makeup Geek and this is really pretty because it has, again, that sort of duochrome um, flash of purpley, bluey shimmer to it which is perfect for this kind of unicorn look and I applied that quite liberally to my cheekbones and then I actually went back in with this pinky purple shade from that palette because it works so perfectly with that um, slightly reflective tone and I'm kind of applying my blush very high on my cheekbone I feel like that's like a really cool look with this kind of makeup and I also applied um, NARS desire blush just below that highlight just to kind of brighten it up um, Obviously, this is a very over blushed look, but I, the placement is really high so for the eyebrows, you could totally do like normal brows, but I decided to go all out. So I'm using this turquoise eyeliner by Kiko Cosmetics, and I'm just using that to um, apply that on my eyebrow hair. And this really kind of covers up the natural color of my real brow hairs. Then I used a small angled brush just to kind of uh, fade it out. Because on the outer side, I'm going to be using this bright blue, kind of like a cobalt blue eyeliner. This is one of the new L'Oreal Infallible. Uh, gel pencils they're really cool and I applied that to the outer part of my brow and now I'm going to apply some glitter to my brows because it's so much fun I am using some cosmetic glitter here by Creola I'm using like a turquoise and that cobalt blue and first I applied the glitter glue and I'm using the glue from lit cosmetics this glue is so great with glitter um, it really dries completely clear and it makes sure that the glitter really sticks and um, doesn't flake off so first I applied the turquoise glitter and then the darker blue glitter and then again kind of blended it in the space where they meet in the middle. I always think glitter brows are so fun for a look like this because it's something that people don't expect. They kind of expect you to do glitter on your lids or something. So it's just so much fun. <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to apply some false lashes. These are just some very inexpensive lashes that I got uh, on eBay actually. And for the lips, I'm going to be doing a purple and pink ombre look. So I'm first using a purple lip pencil. This one is by NYX Cosmetics and um, I applied that to the outer part of my lips of course. And then I went in with a bright fuchsia hot pink color. This is actually a lipstick by Maybelline and I'm going to be applying that sort of in the center of my lips and then blending it with the purple and I'm sorry a lot of this is sort of a little bit off camera and at the end I just added some glitter also on my roots sort of the glitter roots thing that's like really cool and popular. I've never done it but you can see it's like holographic and there's stars in it too so really fun. I really hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did please remember to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and uh, if you are going to a festival and you wear this look then tweet me a picture I'd love to see it and I will see you guys in the next video bye everyone <laughs>